So we're going to do what is not actually a paella. It's a saffron rice, which is called a saffron rice because if it was going to be a paella, it would be cooked in the open air in the proper pan. But it'll be just as good. And it's, more, it's the same ingredients. Uh, we're using saffron to colour it, grown on the plains of La Mancha. I love saffron. It's just absolutely beautiful. It has a very delicate scent and this wildly yellow, yellow colour. And it's probably one of the oldest spices that um, we've ever been using as humans. It has uh, boiling water on it and then it needs to be soaked. We'll see in a minute how it colours itself yellow. And in order to speed that up, I usually soak it for about five or six minutes and then drop it in the liquidizer and give it a big whirl. And that brings out the colour rather brilliantly. The only two vital ingredients, well three maybe, are rice, saffron and um, olive oil. So heat the pan up a little bit and then you can add some olive oil at this point as soon as the, the, the metal is quite hot. The important thing is that all the flavour ingredients go in raw and they shouldn't ever, you shouldn't add cooked food to a rice dish. There we are, we have tomatoes. Bonnie has chopped them up, which is very good. We have peas, which you need something green. It could be green pimenton, or it could be green pimientos, or it could be short sticks of asparagus chopped up the same size as the peas, or it could be anything which is not a green leaf vegetable, maybe gorgettes diced, red peppers, something like that. And because we are not doing, again, anything complicated, we're using some chorizo instead of chicken or rabbit or mussels or all the other things that you might think that you have to add. The thing about a chorizo is that it has a lovely smoky flavour because it is lightly smoked. It adds a certain amount of meat which is normal with a, with a paella. You can make it without meat. But I would tend to put diced olives in or something, if, if that's what you were doing. So in goes the little bit more heat. Wait until it bubbles up a bit. At this point, nothing should be browned. You're just flavouring the oil a little bit. Okay. Depending on whether the tomatoes are really ripe. Now, the usual measurement is this lot of rice is about right for one person. That is a handful. We're going to make a four person paella. So, now we're going to stir it, and the whole point is that the rice has to change colour a little bit. Yeah. Can you see that, Bob? By the saffron. No, it has to change colour with the, with, the, with the olive oil. Okay, now we're going to add the saffron. We add the peas at the end. Can I get the There it goes. I could measure, but I just tend to cover it like that. And then just leave it. And in exactly 18 minutes' time, when it's absorbed all the liquid and turned a beautiful sun yellow, it'll be done. Then you have to leave it for 10 minutes to rest. In a moment we're going to put in some bright green peas and it'll be done.
when the rice is beginning to look a bit swollen and beautiful, you can add the peas. You'll know it's done when these little bubbles are no longer, when the, the rice is pitted with little, with little holes rather than steaming with little bubbles. More water when you need it. And cold water, you don't need to do the, um, the number with the, like the risotto with boiling stock or anything. It's just a very easy, very simple country folk dish.